chain through. Maker got six first. Oh yeah, he's gonna go ahead, dash forward with the spear crush. Lands the charm, orb comes through this time. One more hit would do it. No, oh! actually, the last charge doesn't get it. Yeah, Honey Rose probably. Very nice, beyond ults. Oh, that's gonna be the exhaust coming down onto Bang. He'll flash away from the grasping roots, and he'll be all right to go ahead and walk his way back. Beyond still hovering around in the bottom lane, jumps in, gets on top of the it's Ash, solo. goes low. Heal comes out, piercing arrow connects as well, but Bang is still alive, and now they're gonna try to throw this around onto Beyond. Beautiful end of the line into collateral damage from Peanut. Already Comes up with up. 2,000 gold. I mean, that extra everything is fine until Beyond decides to go in right now because there's clearly going to be communication that everything is up and the only way you turn around is bang Ooh. is if you have your jungler in your pocket. Yeah. He was already losing bot lane now. Losing it even further in oh, mid lane. There we go, yet again, Faker dashing in. The exhaust comes down, lands the charm. Ian going to be dead, tries to trade something back but can barely get a scratch right. of damage. So far ahead of experience. Well, it's called Ash Arrow now down on the max. Bullet time comes down right on top of it. And then leaving Bang. lane. Really no answer from the side of MVP. Oh. Ash Arrow comes out. Bang not going to find a target, but Max gets chunked out. Might just go down. Oh. Bang locked up, though, popped up into the air. The heal not going to be enough to keep him alive. He will get traded back on. Mooney jumps the waters. Won't find a connection on the Maha. Going to go ahead, dash forward, takes him out as Peanut actually finds that killing blow. ADD now it's all Faker. alone in no man's lane. Takes a dredge line away, but has to just go and try to hug the turret instead. Charm connects beyond arriving. Faker taking up the turret at the moment. Dashes away with the spirit rush. Shows down the exhaust onto beyond. As ADD does fall, Hoonie gets the killing blow. Six kills earlier in the game. Basically, every lane has been compounded from the mid lane problems. This all started with Max just getting almost bullet time to death. Yeah. I mean, the Graves ult probably was unnecessary given the end, but understand for the secure. And even though SKT brute forced this, when you have an item lead in basically every roll, you can take extra turret damage. You don't need necessarily to pull off the quintessentially perfect play. Make your hits every skill shot, so perfection was there at least. Make it up for that huge flash from the start of the game. Now, getting closer and closer to the head of the play. Oh, Ian getting charmed. Hoonie nearby has jumped the water, tosses it out, zoning Ian away from the turret. He throws out that unleashed power, but it's just going to scrape the surface of Faker's HP bar. Now, Beyond jumping in, trying to trade one back, has to flash away from the charm. Or location as well. Faker waiting, finds the charm on the ADD. It's chunked out pretty decently, almost down to half HP. And Peanut has started up this dragon. Ian comes around the side. Great goes over. Peanut getting hit by that unleashed power. Still okay at the moment. The sun will not clip him. He's trying to kite back. The best of his ability, but gets popped by Maha in the end. Full time coming out. Not going to find too many targets. Ian's going to be the first one to fall. As the charm connects and Fizz dashes in, taking out Maha. Both the damage runs from MVP have been eliminated. As well as... It's categorically won by SKT. Is MVP just starts off with the ult to get Peanut low, and they hope, okay, let's get a single pick. And then reset. We got a pick comp. If we focus everything on Peanut, we'll kill him, and they do. Problem is, Faker will take out Ian. Hoonie's already able to do a lot of damage in the backline. Can certainly tussle with backliners for days. And yep, there's just no way to play this MVP comp. Turn on their day that they have some chances. Play the Ruin King Ash means that hey, why not a 22-minute Baron? I know. I, I do uh, like MVP quite a bit, but right now there's a lot to be desired. Ian getting locked up. Charm won't connect. Those out that unleashed powers. Hoonie cheats forward. Get locked down by the bullet into the chain of corruption. Can they pop a fizz? The answer is going to be yes. Nice stretch line from ADD. Oops, locking down. Taking uh, ult as well, and kind of done. Sure. Nothing against Nautilus. So there's Fair arguments enough. for both. It's mid lane. Right. Well, Hootie comes in the back side. He yeah. is way too far forward. Goes out the only power again. Trying to chunk out Peanut. Won't be able to do it. And ADD got himself in too deep. Following in with the Syndra. Cost him his life. A double kill goes over to Peanut. Beyond Perfect. is the same level as Peanut. So that's one thing they've got going for them. Well, Beyond really thrives in these 50 chances, and Maha will go down, he jumps in looking for Hoonie, but he makes it onto the troll pole just in time to keep himself alive. Faker takes out the Rengar, and that will certainly be the Baron going over, unless Max, oh, Max gets done pulled it before. off his Miracle Steals. We've he's seen done it, it with the Thresh Hook. We've seen it with the Thresh, we've seen it with the Lulu. Can he do it with Zyra? The damn impressive, you have to say, it's going low, won't be able to get it. Spike comes out for Peanut, so. This uh, is leaving that? a trail of breadcrumbs <laughs> for people to find Ooh, piece him. of candy, ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> oh, Peanut from downtown. This is uh, definitely a shut up haters moment for him. This time it was Flash Charm, Maha was dead. Nothing he can do, nothing MVP can do. Tried their best. If Max got the steal, I probably would have dropped the headset. I, yeah, that would have been incredible, a long night. 
not. Build the hunt coming through beyond looking for the chase. Smoke screen down. That makes it out fine. Meanwhile, Ma gets taken out. 1v2 here from Hooney. Comes up with a kill. Just going to get a little bit of damage down onto that uh, Nautilus, but don't think a kill's going to be coming out from that. But Baker, he dashes forward, trying to find Ian, but they trade it back. We'll lose the flash beyond getting locked up, and that should be another the person goal. Going to see a replay top. Hooney didn't even know Maha was here until he popped out of the brushes. He's like, oh, okay. You got a bonus. I'll just kill you then. Thanks for, uh, thanks for showing up. And then Faker used his Q to get into range. Thought he could go for the all-in, but the moment the indicator came down, he already committed his first uh, charge of the Spirit Rush aggressively. Yeah. And there was no turning around. I think maybe if the charm hit, the Unleashed Power would come out. Maybe Faker lives. Maybe he just yeah, coming in with a TP inside the base. He wants a Syndra. Free, and he's just like, oh, hello. Just, uh, goodbye. <laughs> That's why you accept your fate. Oh. Ian can only smile. Yeah, it's a bit of a wry smile there from him. So, yeah, not much else I could have done. But he's going to bring up the wave. Meanwhile, Faker going deep yet again. Lays a charm in on the max. Gets focused out. One more hit would do it. Death charge coming through. Oh, what a way to die. From downtown, ADD coming up with the kill. As he tries to get back to the foul. And it's not going to work out. Three members dead on MVP. The second inhib goes down. Final minions going to be buffed up by that Baron. It's do or die time here from Max and Beyond to try to hold on to the base, but he has to expect this is likely going to be the finish here for SKT. Beyond jumping in, tries to kill off Bang, won't be able to do it. Now Hooney looking for Max. Of course, the flash into the fountain as he watches the base crumble around him. 30 minutes on the clock, SKT absolutely dismantling MVP in game one. It's the 28th kill of a 30 minute game. We almost got kill a minute, that's not Korean style. There is that no face. There we go again. I feel bad for them because uh, it's hot. I mean, it's it's self-inflicted. That's a definitely Korean selfie level no face. <laughs> yep. And now they're like embarrassedly like, hiding their face. The moment. No face hiding his face. His or her face, I should say. Pretty poorly named. Kind of just have his face going on there. See the open fade coming through from SKT, trying to shove. Beyond off of this red buff. When he's battling against ADD and Beyond, who needs to focus on the objective and it resets. Oh, they, Great job by Hooney. Yeah, they get the reset. And Peanuts just taking away these rafters in the meantime. Hooney will get jumped on. Faker trying to arrive now. He's going to pop the ghost so he can get there fast enough. ADD getting jumped on. That's going to be Peanut coming up with first blood already. MVP's train completely getting derailed just. That's the first purchase. Peanuts level six. Still a hunt coming through. Beyond has that ward down. We can safeguard two. ADD's arriving, but jump the water goes completely wide. You don't know if you want to stick in here. Oh, the blast cone. Gonna bump them back and out. ADD might just have the kill. So he'll be okay though. Being unable to eject himself. Has that flash to take him up to safety. ADD gonna have to do the same, but unleash power coming through for Faker, who goes slow, and they actually take this one back. Ian finds it. Uni able to burn out the fizz. Peanut wraps around from the side. Whatever. Yeah. I'll be part of a montage, I guess. Kramer got his, he just had the chase for it. Clooney uh, now, gonna get jumped on. Big Eagle has it thrown down. Beyond gonna dash back in, but just gets solo killed. In the 1v2, now with the arrival of Peanut, they should be able to trade this one back in. ADD goes down, a double kill to Hooney. There's Rumble counters, and let me tell you, I play solo queue, I'm a big Rumble player, named my dog after Rumble. I had a cute corgi named Rumble. Back in Australia when I was there, I had to give him up. Oh, oh Flash, Pinker gonna juke the wrong way, gets dragged back in, Fox comes down, he will fall. Something about banning comfort, but Wolf's been excellent this season. Faker's oh, hit. Oh, Asho, yep, finds Faker straight into the death sentence. He'll go down. MVP. Working away some trying frustration. To, yeah, they're trying to find some victory here in the mid lane. Hey, kill it. He's looked great. He had some down games himself as well as if you really want this out of mid lane, Tarek. Parallel convergence connects. Who need to get kicked back in with the Dragon's Rage? Goes low, drops out the red carpet, oh, and Beyond oh, just gets oh, destroyed. God. Devour comes through from Wolf. Ian almost goes down in all of this. Exhaust thrown in onto AD, trying to get that kill onto Hoonie. Won't be able to find it as the Death Sentence connects on the Wolf. Pops that Grey Health shield. Uh, just out of the parallel convergence, just trying to get himself away. And Faker, with the pushback, takes out Ian to fall here. This is what being fed looks like. This is a single clip that shows you that Hooney 
turns around. I mean, oh, good God. The health bomb beyond disappears to one skill shot off screen. And Hooney's damage. There's Wolf, always been known as the event. around a 1v3 pretty easily. Oh, goodbye. Well, not a 1v3, but a 1v1. Remember, they do have Abyssal Voyage and the Rengar. We're looking for Ian, who's going to try to maybe just trade one back here. The best of his ability. Snap back, not going to connect on the bang, which means that he is going to be dead before Icy goes down. And Ezreal finally finds a kill. And that wants the red. Goes yeah. in because that is W. Taken away, kicked in to the box. Is Peanut getting slowed up? Trying to create some distance here with the cube, but won't be able to do so. He coming down, Hooney has dropped that equalizer. Gets a bit of damage in. That's going to lead to a double kill here for Faker. It's popped to the side for the blast cone. Can he triple find kill. It? Yes, he does. The, the retool gets some gold. Peanut got crazily aggressive here. It's because he had his W available to cleanse away CC. He thought he could get out. There was no way to do so. The equalizer in a good spot was able to be disengaged off, but hey, two ticks of equalizers already. Yeah. Deletion damage, and people flashed over a nice little triple over the side of Faker. We can see picture in picture. Drake was picked up as well. Yeah, so double infernal Drake now here yes. in Bresky. Sure. Well, well, they're going to do this very fast. They are burning away at this one. Redemption is going to come down. That would be one hell of a seal if it was able to happen, but not going to come through. Peanut is trying, trying desperately to scare them away with a phase dive, but too terrified himself to go for it. ADD stunned up by the Syndrome. Makes it up under that playful hey. prankster. Last auto attack, not gonna take him out. 2014 accepted. Yeah. It's uh, kinda like being a Patriots fan. Well, American football. Maha just gonna take all of the damage as Unleash Power rips right through him. This is the last stand here for MVP and it's not looking good. Ian snapping back in, barely gets any damage down on the Wolf, but he is able to execute Faker in the backside of the fight. But that's four members dead, ADD all by himself. Trying to defend, won't be able to do anything here to stop SK Telecom from shattering the base, from taking this series and forcing MVP into a tiebreaker tomorrow. Tiebreaker will make things a little bit interesting tomorrow as they had good matches, but not necessarily implications. They're holding off, they want to kill them. They do, they want to pad the KDAs. SKT had a training match, nothing more, nothing less.